the Shimano Triton. They don't call it that anymore. Shimano, of course, but they refer to these as the TR100G. In a couple videos ago, I described some of these reels in, in my big old you know arsenal that I have for my charter fishing business. I can't, I can't even remember how many years that I have worked to this point. For me, taking customers, I started out with Garcia Ambassadors. Then they started to really let me down. And before you go on, have like an ape shit, you know, reaction 25, 35 years ago. They really weren't, I don't think, considered a truly saltwater reel. Because I've had them, I had them all. But Everything led me to this point, and I'm still not, there's still things that I wish Shimano would do with this reel. But let's go back to how I, my progression of reels in the charter business, looking for day in, day out, super durability, and they need just to go, 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 fish, fish, fish. That's all they needed to do. I have used so many different reels. So that is what eventually led me, because I had a few of these, and it led me to go all TR100G. I've got a few 200s. But just, a, I, ha, I don't know how many videos I've got about this, but just a basic reel you know, in the right hands, can do almost everything. I mean, we've used these bottom fishing, offshore, snapper season, sea bassin. You know, no, no big deal. I use this for trolling for king mackerel, on downriggers even, just downriggers. Uh, let's see, with the, the same 30 pound braid on it. I don't change over everything. This little handle, and I mean, I've got, I don't, I've got tons of stories about, you know, what this reel has done and what friends of mine that have these reels have done. But I mentioned back several videos ago that I would do a video on the pros and cons. There's hardly any cons to this reel. In my, in my opinion, of a guy who owns, I don't, I'll just say 25 of them. Yeah, the handle could be a little bigger. But you know, it, it just works. It works. The star drag, if they just put a clicker in it, it has a tendency that when people are using, they just it just gets knocked loose very easily. And I'm talking, go to Walmart, stand at the front door and say, here comes a group of people. Hey, let's go fishing. Okay, take them fishing. Then the next group walks out. Hey, let's go fishing. I'm not talking taking Bill Dance, Roland Martin, Hank Parker, okay? That's what everybody thinks. That's what America thinks, you know? No, I'm taking out the same people that are walking in and out of Walmart. That is something that could be a little better is a clicking thing here maybe to handle a little bigger the gear ratio is 4.3 to 1 it's not it's not a rocket ship by any man i like at least a five or above these days i've always wished 
this is like a real pipe dream, is that I could find this exact same reel that when you flick that lever back and you turn the handle, it would self-engage. Now, Tsunami came out with, Bimini Bay came out with some. I tried them, but believe it or not, their smallest one wasn't, it was still like bigger than this. Size really does matter on a reel like this for inshore coastal fishing. What you got? I think it's a 12 footer. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. 12 foot ugly stick. Not bad at all. Me personally, I can do about everything with it, except I'm not, you know, I'm not casting like little tiny jigs and this isn't something that I'm throwing lures with or anything. But just general fishing, egg sinker, bottom rig, trolling, you know, it does it all for me. And I've had big fish. You get a, you know, 25, 35, 40 pound king mackerel. Okay, let me tighten, I'm gonna tighten the drag up this little hair. Oh, this is a big fish. Nice, it's a big fish. Angler. Yes. Anglerette. Anglerette. That's a nice, Captain nice Dave's king com, fish. y'all, if you want a good fishing trip, that's yeah. where you go. Double down rigger. Cigar minna. All right, we got another one on. Got our lady angler on it. Who let them dogs out? All right. There's another. Got tails sticking out. Yeah. Tails up, brother. Generally, you don't use a level one because it can't keep up with how fast the spool's burning out on some big fork tail speedsters. But believe it or not, I've never had one break. I mean, no corrosion to speak of. Whatever this material is, graphite, pla I don't care what you call it. It's just ungodly durable. I mean, it's simplistic and it works if there's any cons whatsoever to this reel is people on my boat don't have an Ivy League educated thumb. And it's okay. I know that. I know going in. But we're going to be using these and they're going to learn. And every once in a while, somebody gets a bit of an overrun on the spool. And just like I just did right there on purpose, is it created that loop right there, if you can see it, up around that screwdriver. It created that loop. And when they get that loop, and then they click the reel, and engage it, and go to reel, that loop goes around the level wind, the bottom of the level wind, just like, I'm trying to reenact it here, goes tight, and now that gets wrapped, and I'm sure you can't see it, I got black everything here, but now the line gets wrapped and it falls into that groove on the level line paw cap and it comes tight and they go hey Dave the reel ain't working well 
99.9% of everything that's not working many times is always just user error, as we know. I immediately know to flip the whole rod and reel over, go in, get this out. That's if they haven't jammed it super tight. Because if they jam it super tight, what happens is when you're using braid, it breaks the plastic. These knobs back years ago used to be metal, but they cheapened them. And now that level wind cap is plastic. It has like little teeth on the very end. Okay. Right up in here, it's got like little teeth and they will break. So when they break, you've got to have another paw cap ready. So what I do on my boat, because I know these reels inside and out. I keep a little pill container and on it, it says Shimano Triton parts. So what do I do? Two extra actual level wine paws. There it is right there. That goes under this cap. And here's the cap. You can see little teeth right on that cap. When they break or split, this doesn't want to stay tight anymore. So this, you'll take this cap off and this will fit in here. And that fork goes into this worm gear right in there. And that's what, when you put the cap on it, makes the level wine go back and forth. So these paws and every level wine reel has them in one degree or another can get wore out. So I keep a couple of those, and then even in here, to take up the space between when you stick this up in here, when you stick this up in here and you pull the old one out, which I'll show you in a second, this tiny, tiny washer, you can see these tiny washers right in there. There's three in there. Go to take up the space because obviously there's a little play between when you stick that up in there, then it goes the washer, and then the cap goes on. There's a little bit of space, and that's what these little washers will take up that space. Since you're probably not familiar, you could be, but you might not be, let's back this off. And I'll show you right there. There's the washer. Right on the end there. And here is the paw. Right there. So these are the only things that I've ever had an issue with on this entire reel while fishing with customers. So I'll put that back. And I'll take the little washer. 99% of the time, you're not going into this depth on a boat. All I'm usually doing, usually, is replacing these caps. Every once in a blue moon, we'll have a, a paw wear out. And I will just replace that paw and that washer. And that's all I'll do. Do not over tighten it. All right, well, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this with limited space. I can't even get my face near it. Okay. But that's it. This is all I really do to these reels. Yeah, I can't do this with all this in the way. But you get the drift. So, promises kept. I said I was going to do the pros and cons of this reel. The first one of these I think I ever bought in my entire life was brand new. Might have been $39.95, something like that. Now you struggle to find these for $80. Everything in the fishing industry right now is going to skyrocket 
starting in 2021. If things continue the way they've been said they're going to, look out, folks. You better look out. You better buy right now because it ain't going to get any cheaper. There's going to be a lot of remorse going on here because things are going to really start hitting our wallet. But I got enough. I got enough tackle. I really don't need to buy any tackle anymore. So there you go. That's it. Always have spare parts. These parts are easily found. Shimano-fishing.com, I believe. Go up to the reels. Select the reel. TRN 100G, 200G. Um, click on parts. The exploded version will come up. Go on down. Get yourself some caps. Get yourself some washers and get yourself some paws because these are the reels that are getting used and abused as much as possible on my boat. Just you name it, it gets done with these. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget, if you learned anything, please just throw a like up there so other people will get shown this in their feed and they may learn something too.